Well, Minnesota won, man. It drops us to two and three on the season. I, I mean, you know, I, I would almost guarantee that every single player on that Minnesota roster that played in the NFC Championship game had this game circled. Player, coach, maybe even fans. Not that it mattered with the fans much, but... I mean... You know, I, I don't know what it's going to take for this team. I, it, to me, it's, it's, it's something that's mind-boggling to me because it's practically the same team as last year that we have. So I don't know what the deal is, man. Like, maybe it's the losses of coordinators from last year. Maybe that's a big reason why the team is playing that the way they are. I, I don't know. Like, I, I know this team knows what it's what it takes to win Super Bowls. I mean, they just did it. So the 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 more this season progresses, each week that goes by, my confidence level is. Declining. I mean, that's not saying that I don't believe that this team can get things turned around. I, I, I believe that they can. And I believe that they will. I just hope it's not too late. Because right now they're already digging themselves in a hole. Like, a hole. They're two and three. Two losses out of the three to NFC teams. Thinking playoff picture here. So... It's not a good start. It's not a good start. And I said it before, and I will I will continue to say it. For those Eagles fans that think that, or not just Eagles fans, because I think there's very minimal that, that can be included in this. But non-Eagles fans, I think, that are saying that Carson Wentz is playing mediocre or we should put Nick Foles back in, uh, you know, because he's riding hot from the Super Bowl MVP last year. Those are exact words that I were told, believe it or not, by a non-Eagles fan. Really, Carson Wentz is like the brightest thing that we have on the field right now. He's doing everything he can. The line can't block for him. But yet he's still playing phenomenal. Stats don't lie. I mean, but not only, stats don't mean everything because there are those intangibles that are not calculated in stats, such as playmaking ability, being able to prolong plays when he's in trouble. I, I, I don't know what it's going to take, man, for this team to turn it around. The offensive line needs to get it together. Get it together, man. I, Lane Johnson, he's like a... I, I don't know what happened this year. Last year, it seemed like nobody can get past him. Now it seems like he's just a turnstile going down the step, going down to the step. Like, I, I don't get it, man. Every like These last two games, he gave up two crucial sacks. I don't understand what's going on with him. Now, the rest of the offensive line, eh. Like, pass protection is, is <laughs> it, it is so drastically different from last year. And I keep comparing to last year because it's the same team. It's the same players. The majority of them. So, I, man, I, 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 I can't. I can't figure it out, man. The pass protection is trash. It's garbage. The the, the run blocking, well, when you want to compare it to the pass blocking, or pass protection, uh, it's, it's better. But we cannot consistently get a running game going. I mean, Ajayi, he'll, he'll break one here and there, but 10, 15, 
20 yards. When 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 Smallwood's in there, he he likes to run like a battering ram. I I like it. So I mean, it, all the running backs are are subject to to break a good 10, 15, maybe 20 yard run here and there. But the ground game is not consistent. It's not. The the only thing that seems to be consistent is Wentz to Ertz. And then Jeffrey. Jeffrey, he makes big catches, man. He steps up, man. He like that fourth down. That that fourth down catch. That that was that was a good deal, man. That was that was good stuff. Like he, he's reliable. Defense. You know, I, the thing is, is with defense and the secondary, basically, the the secondary. I feel like Jalen Mills is taking the brunt of the blame, the majority of the blame here. I mean, he he's he has some reasons to be blamed or some things to be blamed for, but he's not the majority sole reason that the secondary sucks. I mean, Darby's out there. He's made some good plays, just like Jalen Mills. They, they've both made good plays, but <laughs> Darby... Like, he'll miss a tackle from time to time. Like, Jenkins, like, he has he has the leadership ability, which I love. I love Malcolm Jenkins. But I don't know if it's the play calling or if it's just him. I don't know. But, like, sometimes he'll be out of position, which results in blown coverages. Uh, well, I mean, and he even admitted that one blown coverage uh, against Tampa Bay, that first play of the game. We all remember that one. That freaking touchdown pass to Deshaun Jackson to open up that game. But there's, you, you, you can see it on tape. Go back and watch some of these games. Just watch the secondary. Don't watch the game, the plays. Just watch the secondary. I mean, and you'll see it. That includes the linebackers from time to time, too. I, I mean... You know, they're they're the linebackers are there to support the run and the the pass. So I don't know I don't know what needs to be done, man. They're saying the coaches are saying that you know, oh well, the answers are all in house, but I don't think that that's the case, man. I don't think that's the case, and I think that they might start they need to, they need to start thinking about a trade maybe. Something, man. Something. So, I don't know, man. Um, that's that, man. I, I don't know. Two and three. We're in a bad position right now. But the saving grace. <laughs> the saving grace for us is the fact that we're playing in the NFC East. Where the Giants suck. Cowboys they're always they're always below average, but the fan base thinks otherwise. But they are. And then the Redskins, they're the only team right now in the division that is showing any signs of life, but I don't think that that'll hold strong. I mean, we'll see. They play tonight. So, we'll see. The Giants lost yesterday. The Cowboys lost. So, that's a positive thing for us. So... I mean, if there's anything to, to, to be positive about, we can do we can, we can look at that as far as yesterday um, and just hope Washington loses tonight. So, man, well, the, the, the Giants game coming up, man, in the Meadowlands, I, we'll see. We'll see, man. But I do think, though, I do feel that they there is still time, man. There's still time to turn this season around. I do feel that they can turn it around. Um, but we're already five games into the season, man. We, we need to, and in, in three days, getting ready to go and play our sixth game. So that's that's near half of the season already. So 
they need they need to get it together and they need they need to do it quick. So anyway, man. It, 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 look, Eagles fans, it's it's tough right now, and and the microscope is on us just that much more because we're coming off of a Super Bowl win, and we're being called flukes, and 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 we didn't deserve. It's funny how the the the, the vibe changes when the season starts because, you know, I for me. I've heard nothing but pretty much positive and congratulatory type things the entire offseason. And now all of a sudden it, it just switches and it is what it is. So that's fine. I, I knew before the season started, and I even said it, that we're going to get the best from everybody. We're going to get the best from everybody. So... I, I have not one time this year, and I will not this entire season underestimate any team that we play because they're going to give us our best. We all need to expect that. They are going to give us our best, 150%, because we do have that target on our back. It's a season that we never had. We've never had that target on our back before, ever. So it's completely new. The team just needs to adjust to it. So that's all I got right now, man. I'm going to try to put out another video for the Giants game. Hopefully, if work schedule allows it. <laughs> I'm going to try my best, though. So with that being said, man, this is 12 minutes long. This video is way longer than I want it to be. So go birds, man. Go birds. No matter what. I love this team. They piss me off sometimes, especially now, but I love this team. <laughs> Go Birds.